Hey guys and gals, today's video is about how my dog's cancer was cured and I'm going to be your host, the Homestead Prepper. And before I uh, get into the details of uh, his cancer cure, I want to give all the praise and glory to God Almighty because I definitely believe that he had his hand in it because when you see this next picture I'm going to show you of this little 13 year old dog here who's about to turn 14, uh, it's truly a miracle. He uh, he doesn't like his mouth inspected. Let's just see if he'll let us look at him right here. But see, he, he won't let me pull up his gum and look at him. But you can see he looks normal. And let's uh, let's look and see what happened to him back in April. Okay, guys, this is uh, you know a picture of uh, the before, and you can see he's kind of sticking his tongue out at us, and you can see that thing right there under his lip, and. You can see this right here. Let's look at that a little bit. You know, you can see that is not his tongue. That is a growth that's growing there, and uh, it got. Let's put this back here. There he is. He's sticking his tongue out again. If you can see that, his tongue to the side. Uh, this right here to me is the worst picture you know that look how depressed he is and that thing just sticking out there I mean it just it hurt my heart I just felt so terrible for him um, so anyway um, what happened is back in um, April he started bleeding from his mouth and you know we didn't know what was going on and you know I didn't know if he you know got on a piece of bob wire or whatever but we took him up to um, the vet and the vet uh, and, and my dog doesn't, you know, like like I just showed you, he doesn't want, he doesn't like to be handled or people to inspect him. He doesn't like that. Um, but anyway, the vet was able to look in there and said he had a little growth. It was, you know, probably, I don't know, really small. I don't know what to compare it to. Maybe um, this is this is on my phone, but uh, maybe about about that big. That's the tip of a pen. And it, uh, he said more than likely it was a cancer because cancers bleed. Okay, uh, the, the tumor got, you know, kind of excessive size, about the size of, you know, my finger, you know, part of my finger. And uh, we took the dog up to the vet and they uh, surgically removed it. And the doctor asked us if we wanted a biopsy. I'm like, yeah, I want to know what, uh, you know, what we're dealing with here. And uh, it came back that it was plasma cell carcinoma. Okay, which is something that originates in the bone, some type of bone cancer, and it manifests itself. And I asked the doctor, does it, you know, metastasize? He goes, well, that type of cancer, not normally, but it can. You know, cancer kind of does whatever it wants to. Um, so I uh, started doing a lot of research once we found out it was cancer, and I had heard about this uh, fenbenzidol, uh, had worked on um, dogs and people for cancer, and turmeric with black pepper and coconut oil and I forced the dog to eat a bunch of that and it that tumor after they removed it it started growing like gangbusters I mean it just got big quick and uh, I was very disturbed and like you saw the picture here this picture right here you, you can just see the dog you know how miserable he is so um, we took him back down to the vet and the vet said, well, we can give him chemotherapy but and radiation, but he's, you know, an older dog. It's probably, you know, going to kill him and, you know, his quality of life versus his uh, quantity of life. So we, you know, opted not to do that. And we asked the doctor, is there anything he can do? And he said, well, yeah, he goes, he can give um, some of this right here is 20 milligrams of prednisone. I'm pronouncing that properly. So uh, we gave that to him, and uh, guys, I had also been, you know, very disturbed seeing the dog like that, and I had prayed to God and asked him, you know, if he could heal the dog or if he could give me some idea of what would work, you know, to get rid of that tumor, to shrink it. And um, I uh, started doing, you know, some more research because, like I said, this this didn't work for the dog. This didn't work for his cancer, you know. Now maybe maybe it'll work on you know your dog or it'll work on you know some other uh, type of animal or whatever, but for uh, Nate it did not. So uh, I ran across a video 
of a guy. Now, I had run across this video a couple years ago because my mom got cancer and she ended up passing away. But um, I had run across a video where a guy was doing uh, molasses and baking soda. And I thought, well, that's that's ridiculous. What's what's that going to do? And I, um, like I said, I had prayed to God and I asked him, I says, well, if you could just give me an idea of what we can do for the dog. And um, uh, this came up and then I did some more research on it. There was something about it. And uh, there's a guy on YouTube. I don't know if his name is Synergy7. I, I don't know. I'd have to put a link uh, exactly. But he had a video about how cancer eats glucose and that's what makes it grow and guess what this is right here okay and he he talked about how when they um when they give you the radioactive uh, stuff mix and, and it they uh, guys i'm not a doctor you have to bear with me here but uh, whenever you go for a cancer um scan or whatever they give you something radioactive and they mix it with some form of glucose because the cancer attracts that in there and it attracts that radioactive stuff and it shows up on the x-ray or the MRI or whatever they give you and uh, he said well if you mix this in there with this because this is high pH that the cancer will be attracted and then that's what kills the cancer okay so um, what I did and there was no instructions I didn't see any instructions on the internet is I put about that much uh, molasses in there. I put one heaping teaspoon of baking soda in there and I filled the rest up with warm water and mixed it up and then what I did is I got some chicken this is just canned chicken and I put a little bit in a bowl and I gave Nate probably I don't know once this was all mixed I probably gave him about that much and he loved it I was like, wow, this is unusual. The dog likes molasses with baking soda. And uh, with the chicken in there, he ate it. And guys, this is what happened after, Whiffy, you'd say about two months, his tumor went away. Eight weeks. Mm -hmm. So we went from, from that right there. We went from that. And in the first week, it looked to me like it, you know, it had shrunk, but I, you know, I didn't want to, you know, that, I thought that was just wishful thinking. He went from that to this right here. And you just saw the beginning of the video. And guys, this is, um, this is in two months. And what you just saw outside, that's after eight months, okay, when all this started. He also had some uh, tumors on his, um, like his belly. Uh, they started bleeding and uh, we didn't know that they were, you know, tumors on his belly. And my wife called me one night and said that he was bleeding from his penis. And we took him to the emergency room and they said, no, no, no. It just had run down there on him. And uh, they put some type of, um, I don't know what that stuff is. It's like a liquid bandage that dries. And um, anyway, that came off and he was bleeding around the house. But anyway, when he would bleed... I would just take some of this powder and throw it on there and that would stop the bleeding and those tumors are gone now too okay now uh, guys I'm not a doctor I'm not advising you what to do I think you should go to a veterinarian if your dog has cancer and uh, you know, I'm not giving any medical advice here this is for information purposes only but I'm telling you that um, this stuff right here and some uh, good hearty prayer the dog is alive today now, I read that um, most dogs that get chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery, they only live about six months, okay? And we also have to factor in, uh, Nate is going to be 14 this February, okay? So this is December 18th today, and he is still going strong, and he is, uh, he's, he's older, but he's still here. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you, so... Uh, if that can benefit some little puppy dog or some other animal out there, uh, then hey, uh, I hope it does. Okay, guys, I wanted to be a little clearer on the dosage of what I gave the dog. Um, I gave him probably a quarter of can of this chicken, you know, um, twice a day, okay? 
and and his regular dog food he likes to eat you know I figured it wouldn't hurt him if he had a little weight on him um, and then like I said uh, probably about that much if that's you know two or three tablespoons of this concoction and um, twice a day and then now he only gets it maybe you know three or four times a week and then once once at that time not twice a day but uh, what I wanted to share with you guys is I had run across something else on the internet and there was a um, a story um, of five sisters and I think this was back in the 1950s and four of them had died of breast cancer and the fifth sister she uh, had this overwhelming craving for maple syrup and baking soda okay now she did not get cancer and uh, she um, she survived so uh, I, I just thought I'd uh, throw that in there too in the mix so uh, if you can't do the molasses or you don't have molasses around you uh, a lot of people have um, maple syrup so okay homestead prepper out Good boy.